Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus Science. This is for the last week of April. It's the week when we're moving from your zodiac sign to the Taurus zodiac. As well, we do have a full moon, a full moon in Scorpio, which, you know, the tarot card for Scorpio is the death card, which is very much about transformation. A lot of things here are changing. For some of you, you might feel these changes. For others of you, you will feel them in a very short time. Also, after I'm completing all zodiac science, I will make an announcement. It's a separate video, so sit up and I will post right after this video. That announcement, it's a separate video, loves, okay? Let's see here. Aries, what do we have for you for this coming week? What are the strong energies we pick up? And as you always know, whatever comes in, we'll share with you. Wheel of Fortune, the divine timing, trusting in the divine timing. As well, there is a lot of movement. You know it, you are an Aries. Here you are, King of Wands. You, my dear Aries, with another fire sign, Aries Leo Sage. But I feel here, whatever you are taking action, you know it's in your favor. Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Two of Cups. World. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody here start something here. High Priestess. Seven of Swords. And Ace of Swords. Strength. Knight of Cups and Three of Swords. What I'm feeling here, you, my lovely Aries, look deep what you have there. This Hermit energy came up as the Virgo energy. I have a fire sign for you. For some of you, you might have a lot of fiery energy out there and of course it suits you but i feel here there's something here in regards an earth sign and there is something here in regards another person could be a water sign or a leo because i have here all zodiac signs whatever is here aries follow your intuition i feel here there is something here you are about to find out and of course you know this the middle card is your timing card which is seven of swords in the next seven days could be even sooner somebody here also is quite hurt it's like they they hoped something to get from you and they might not. There is some hurt on their side. You, on the bigger picture here, you need to be clear what you want to go forward with. Either you go with this person, either we go with this one. But honesty, you know, Ace of Swords is for the long run, always. With the Two of Cups in the world, there is something new here with this earth sign could be a Virgo since we do have the hermit underneath and underneath the hermit look at here ten of pentacles stability unity and there is somebody here hurt let's see here what's about this hurt three of swords lovers you got choices my loves and Queen of Swords. Air energy here. And the Devil.
Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands underneath. Somebody here hopes to get something from you. And I feel here, whatever you are to choose, and they don't like it, there's a conversation with this person right here. And I feel here they, they might tell you, I wanted to give you this Ace of Pentacles, but your choice was the other round, other way around here. Seven of Swords. Because I feel here there's an Aries here with the Two of Cups. There's new love, a new cycle, a new energy. And there is a person here who still have that, you know, one time, one day at a time will come together. Full energy. Six of Cups and Eight of Cups right here. One more card, Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Cups underneath Nine of Swords. What I'm seeing here, Aries, there's something here tied to your past. You might tell to somebody, I don't really care if you really want something with me. But the fact is, you you really want somebody on your side. And with the Eight of Cups, it's like walking away from something. Whatever the thing is. But I feel here, as the Spirit says, are you truly honest that you are follow what you truly want or not? Because there's something here that... You know deeply you're lying to yourself or you're lying to somebody here. But it's more likely you you do this because it's like I want them to see how I was in the past about them. I want them to be hurt as I used to. I want them to feel the pain as I used to. Yeah, absolutely. With the Ten of Swords. It's like this person said, like, well, you wanted a connection. I'm, you wanted a relationship. I'm giving you that. Why you do that now? Whatever the case is, I feel here my Aries. I'm speaking right now is choosing somebody just because it's like, by the principle. That's that's, that's how I want to. But it's like. Don't ignore your intuition. And be honest with yourself. Either way, my lovely Aries, there is a lot of move. Either way. Let's see here. Queen of Pentacles, stick to me here. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Cups and Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I feel here this Earth sign, they could have gone through a lot also in the past. But the thing is, they are a little insecure when they are around you. And the thing is, because they feel like you you got plenty of choices. They are a little anxious if you will go forward or not. Knight of Cups, speak to me here. Knight of Wands. 
Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. Libra energy justice underneath here. This person is single. Whoever it is, they could have fire like you in the chart. They are single and they are waiting for you. There's something here about they cannot get over you. It's like they, they take their time because they feel like will come my time as well. Whatever the, the case is. But I feel here you, you are separated from this person and been a lot of hurt. You try to move forward with somebody else. And let's hear an advice or what the spirit want you to know at this time. My lovely Aries. Three of Cups. Nine of Swords. Four of Cups. And Justice. Underneath we have again the Hermit Energy. It's, it's something here that there's an Aries here is like, I should celebrate. I should be happy. I should be in, in this mood like, oh my goodness, I got this new person. There is move forward. But, but for one thing, like you quite like, I don't know. I don't know. Should I be happy? Should I not be happy? I'm looking for this, but it's it's something here is like I'm not sure if this is for me. Whatever the case is. That's why Spirit says look deep. Whatever you have and whatever you want to have, because the movement will happen. And what you are going to have forward is this a give and take or not? All right, loves. Follow your intuition and the universe guidance. Many blessings, Aries, and of course, if you really enjoy this energy, this reading, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.